Hello there, Simon Trades here. You join me at Rugeley Town Railway Station. Today, you and I are off on a railway journey to visiting former North Staffordshire Railway Stations. We are visiting Stone, Stoke-on-Trent, Alsager and Kids Grove. And there is a reason why I'm doing it in that order. But the reason we are travelling today is diverted traffic. Because the line between Stafford and Crewe is blocked so everything is going by Stoke-on-Trent. So we are waiting for the 0652. It's actually 653. West Midlands Railway Service to Rushi Trent Valley. So you now join me at Rugeley Trent Valley Railway Station and it's a little misty today but it should clear up later on. The only reason I'm here is to change trains. We're waiting for the 0710 London North Western Railway Service to Stafford. Unfortunately it's not going to crew because as everything's going by Stoke-on-Trent there is sacrifices I'm afraid and this is one of them. So the capacity on the Stoke-on-Trent line is a bit full so that's why this train will be terminated at Stafford should be arriving out the mist right now to pick us up to take us to Stafford. Platform 2 for the 0710 London North Western Railway service to Stafford, calling it Stafford only. This train has four carriages. So we're now made to Stafford and the only reason about Stafford is it's to leave Stafford because I waited for the 0756 West Midlands Railway Service which is a London North Western Railway Class 350 to take us to our first location Stone. Should we arrive now to pick us up and take us to Stone. was very interesting indeed. We saw a Freightliner Class 66 diesel locomotive going onto the Hickson line. And this is what this railway journey is all about today. Diverted freight trains on a line that don't really see much freight trains. But this is our first location we shall visit today, Stone Station. Now Stone Station opened on the 1st of May 1849 by the North Staffordshire Railway, designed by Henry Arthur Hunt. Now this station actually replaced the earlier station which opened a year earlier in 1848, a bit further down towards Stafford. Now in January 1888, this station was renamed to Stone Junction, but sometime during its time, it renamed itself back to Stone. And we're going to be seeing plenty more diverted trains here today with pendolinos going through the platforms towards Stafford and freight trains as well. There's going to be plenty of diverted traffic at Stone. And that's what I love about the railways during the bank holidays. A lot of diverted trains passing locations they don't usually pass. If you ever come to Stowe Station, you can only see two platforms. However though, Stowe Station used to have four platforms. 
and the other two platforms were just right here on the Hickson Line. Now local stoppage services on the Hickson Line ceased in 1947 and services were withdrawn. They quickly removed the platforms on the Hickson Line and you can only get express services going up and down the Hickson Line which are Banty West Coast services today. I've also did two videos on the Hickson line where I walked from Great Haywood to Hickson and Hickson towards Western and also look at the Great Northern Railway's Stafford to Utoxeter line. Those videos will be linked in the description down below. But we are waiting for the 0905 West Midlands Railway service, which will be a London Northwestern Railway Class 350-0 to take us to Staffordshire's most used station, Stoke-on-Trent. Should be arriving now to pick us up to take us to Stoke. So we're now made to Staffordshire's most used station, Stoke-on-Trent. And the interesting thing at Stoke-on-Trent today is we're actually going to be seeing some fast trains passing through this station, which is also another rarity indeed. Just outside the station, there is a rugby to Liverpool Live Street service, which is about to pass through Stoke-on-Trent station right now. Stoke-on-Trent station was built on the 9th of October 1848 by the North Staffordshire Railway and the station building is a robust Jacobean style building which is very lovely and quaintful indeed. However, you used to get to many destinations from here towards Leek, Cheadle, Market Drayton, Silverdale and the Potteries Loop line by Burslem. Those stations and lines have long since gone. However though, it is still a major junction to services towards Manchester, Crewe, Kidsgrove, Stone, Stafford and Derby. Stoke-on-Trent station is also the most used station in Staffordshire and three minutes down the line Longport, which we shall not do today, is Staffordshire's least used station. <laughs> That class 170 turbo star right there used to be 17631, which was a stalker unit. Can't stalk me no more because it's not 17631, it's 17531.
I've noticed there's a load of police officers down the platform. I don't know what they're here for. Like, there could be a trailer coming in, they could be taking someone off the train, I don't know. But hopefully it should not affect the train that I'll be catching at 10.13. London North Western Railway Service, the crew, because we're going to Alsager next, because Alsager is a lovely station, but with the divert it becomes even better. So we are going to Alsager as soon as my train arrives to pick us up to take me there. 13 London North Western Railway Service to the crew. So this is station number three, Stoke on Trent for station number two, but we're now at Alsager Railway Station. I'll explain later on why I'm doing Alsager first before Kids Grove. However though, Alsager Station opened on the 9th of October 1848 by the North Staffordshire Railway. In 1889 it was renamed to Alsager Road Heath, but it was reverted back to its original name in 1923. And in 2003 it actually saw electrification. Now the reason this line between Kids Grove and Crew got electrified was for diverted traffic and this is what we're here for at Alsager today. Diverted trains because we're going to get Pendolinos, intermodal freight trains and the usual London North Western Railway Class 350 to 0s and the East Midlands Railway services. So we are going to get more than we bargained for at this location today. So I've just come onto platform 2 for a second to show you this lovely former station building at Alsager Railway Station. I think it's somebody's home now but I'm not too sure but it is a lovely station building indeed. Also at Alsager if you're planning to go to Crew Station I would not board the train from here because down here where this waiting shelter is here the trains actually stop beyond this waiting shelter down here. It's because of the level crossing so they have to stop a bit further down. So you want to board the train at Alsage and head to crew, board the train beyond the waiting shelter. So we had a bit longer at Alsager Railway Station. Now the reason is because it's the London North Western Railway Services that I shall be travelling on. 
and we're waiting for the 12.09 London Northwestern Railway Service to Birmingham New Street which will take us to Kids Grove. Now the reason I'm doing Al Sage at first before Kids Grove is because when I get off at Kids Grove I'll be on the island platform which is the platform I want to be on filming the trains at Kids Grove. If I did Kids Grove before Al Sage I would have been on the other platform and had to walk over the footbridge. Speaking of the footbridge, I did notice something about that at the Kids Grove Railway Station but I'll show you when I get there when this train arrives to pick me up. So I'm now at Kids Grove Railway Station and something has changed at Kids Grove Railway Station. There used to be a footbridge right there, it's disappeared because the new footbridge at Kids Grove is finally open. To be fair though, Kids Grove Station with that footbridge North needed to be placed. But the good thing is now, Kids Grove is now disabled access friendly. We're going to the platform. Doors closing. So we're actually going to take a ride through this. So it is good now that the footbridge has. The new footbridge is finally open to Kids Grove Railway Station. So on the 9th of October 1848, the North Staffordshire Railway opened the Kids Grove Railway Station as Hare Castle. 2nd of October 1944, it was renamed to Kids Grove Central. And the 18th of April 1966, it was renamed again to its current name, Kids Grove. Now the plan is to catch the 1316 off Kids Grove back to Stafford because I'm going to be heading home now. But there's a problem. It's running about nine minutes late. Because between our stage and crew, some of the line is single track. So trains had to wait for other trains to come off the single track. And unfortunately my train had to wait because of Pendolino's using the single track. So that gets me to Stafford at 1354. So I might miss the 1355 back to Rugeley Treads Valley. So that might be an issue. We'll see how that goes.
destiny. Okay, so we just left Stafford at 13.58. They did held the train. Because my train got it at 13.54. Quick over the run over the footbridge. And as soon as I ran over the footbridge, the train was still here at 13.55. So we're now on the 13.55 London North Western Railway Service, which started at Stafford. It's actually going to Milton Keynes Central. Because there's no trains going to London Euston. But we're going to go as far as Rugeley Trent Valley on this. So I'm back at Rushi Trent Valley Railway Station now. All I've got to do is go over the footbridge to catch that train right there to Rushi Town. Good job I got back at Rugey Town Railway Station because you just cancelled the train to Rugey Treads Valley Railway Station. So there's a fault with the signalling system, so before all hell kicked off, I managed to get back here all right. But anyway, let's talk about today's railway journey. There's some good things about it and there's a little bit of a bad thing about it. The good things is we visited the four railway stations, Stone, Stoke-on-Trent, Kidsgrove and Alsager. Could have do Longport because of the times, they're just infrequent with the London North Western Railway Services and the East Midlands Railway Services, so I just left Longport out. We got the Pendolinos at Stone passing through the station. We got them speeding through Stoke-on-Trent. We got them passing through Alsager. And we also got them coming off the Manchester branch of the West Coast Main Line at Kidsgrove, heading towards Alsager as well. We also got freight trains at Stone, Alsager and Kidsgrove. The bonus at Kids Grove, though, was those Class 73 locomotives on a test train. Unfortunately, that test train did bowl me out of a freight train. That's unheard of at Kids Grove, a test train being bowled a freight train. Never happens at Kids Grove, till today. And everything was all right, actually. It has really been successful. The only bad thing I would say about it is that between Alsager and Crewe, there is a single line working and sometimes trains can be held up for other trains and that's what happened to my train at Kidsgrove. It was held up for passing express trains. But we managed to get to Stafford just in time to catch that 1355 service to Milton Keynes Central. They all terminated at Milton Keynes Central because there's no trains going to London Euston. Because it is Good Friday and there's loads of engineering works going on. That's why I've been out today to catch some rarities at certain locations and it has really been successful as i mentioned so all the usual youtube stuff like subscribe comment down below if you wish i have been Simon Trait. thank you very much for watching stay safe i'll see you for the rail journey pretty soon